Today I'm going to show you how to do an adjustment for your outlet pressure on an RPC regulator. There are three different styles of RPC regulators. There's an RPC standard that is externally controlled. There is an RPCA, which is also externally controlled. Then there is an RPCB that is internally controlled. Basically, that means that you won't have a control, downstream control line with an RPCB. Now, this procedure for adjusting your outlet pressure is the same regardless on all three regulators. One of the things I want to impress the most on this video is that all of the adjustments are done with the pilot regulator only. You are never, ever, ever to remove the top cap and try to make an adjustment on the main regulator. This is a set by the factory. It is a specific set so you do not want to try to adjust it. There is no way you can adjust it. There is no way you should adjust it. This is a pressure loaded vessel on the top of this diaphragm. That means there is gas in here. As soon as you remove this top cap, you will allow gas to escape at whatever pressure. Okay, so it is very important. This regulator should have a seal wire. If you do not see a seal wire on this regulator where this is sealed so that it cannot be tampered with, please do not put that regulator into service. Make sure that is sealed and double check to make sure it's operational. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do now is go ahead and energize this regulator. I have an open downstream valve. I'm going to close that valve off so that there is no downstream pressure. We're going to slowly open the inlet valve. We will see our <coughs> inlet pressure climb on our gauge and you will see on our outlet pressure that that has climbed as well. Now what you want to do is you want to crack this open, your downstream pressure, you want to crack that open just a little bit so that you've got flow. Now we're going to remove our top cap for our cover of our spring adjustment button, our spring adjustment screw. Taking a crescent wrench, we're going to loosen our lock nut. And we're going to turn our adjustment screw clockwise to increase pressure. And you'll see that pressure increase. And now to decrease the pressure, we will turn this counterclockwise. You can see on our manometer that the pressure is changing. Okay. Now, RPCs are regulators that are slow to react. Once they are set, they are consistent in regulating pressure downstream. But on initial startup, they are slow. This is because there is a throat block in the main part of our regulator, the main throat of our main regulator. <clears throat> There's a hole in that throat block so that it regulates very slowly. That makes it consistent. So on your initial startup, make sure that you are opening your upstream valve very slowly so that your pressure can be regulated easily and the regulator has time to react. If you try to do that too quickly, you're going to either bend the pan that is in the main regulator and you will have problems with regulation from there on. So make sure that you 
energize this regulator very, very slowly. At this point, you've got your downstream pressure regulated the way you uh, want it. You've reached that pressure, and you can go ahead and reinstall your top cap. And that's the demonstration for an RPC change of regulator pressure.